galactic travelers. How is everybody? Deep breath, my friends. Deep breath, please. Take a deep breath. If you're one of my travelers, you know why we're doing this. If you're not and you don't like it, then push stop. Because <laughs> we're taking a deep breath. Massive shifts happening. You are the creator. You planned this experience. These experiences that are triggering you are remnants of what's left that you need to process. It cannot create fear. It cannot create doubt. It cannot create judgment, remorse, pity, lack, victimhood. You have to release it. As humans, it's so hard. It's so hard not to hang on. Things are shifting so hard. I don't know where that... I'm, I kept trying to figure out what am I gonna talk about. I knew I needed to check in with you guys and, and there's so much going on. Okay, so... <clears throat> Antares is nine degrees of Sagittarius. And Taurus is basically Mars on steroids. So I'm not gonna go into all the astrology because all I know is the energy is gonna be fiery and it's Mars. And this is for everybody because there's quite literally a spiritual war happening right now. It's happening above, it's happening to us, it's happening in our heads, it's this battle. And I know that there's a lot of us going through it, but I've been gifted a different insight to it. And I wanna share with you because when you see it from a different perception, then suddenly it gives no power to it because that's what this is. It's a fight for your energy. It's a fight for your focus. It's a fight for your consciousness. What is consciousness? You know, if we want to go and we want to look at what man calls the Bible, right? Because personally, I believe what Jesus wrote in there. And if you go back and read what he wrote, and if you go back and look at the other ascended masters that came here and reincarnated on this planet, they were all telling us that we could do it too. Don't worship me, they said. You can do it too. Well, we were in an energy that wasn't letting us do that very easily. For many reasons, now we are. And no matter what, and no matter how you got here, and no matter what your blood type, and no matter where you are in the country, you are feeling this shift in some way or form. And you are either choosing to acknowledge it, and choosing to grow with it, or your soul is choosing not to, 
and if that is the case then things are then this shift is going backwards for you and that's okay there's a lot of souls that that have decided they aren't gonna stay if my friends know I've been saying this we came here with a plan not all souls came here in this group to stick around for this shift some of them are going back to come back again there's been a shift on the planet those dark entities that were here before are now this is their last attempt this is there's a spiritual galactic war going on right now The only thing they ever wanted to keep from us was our consciousness. They wanted to keep ourselves from us. When they leave and their souls leave, when they come back, they can't come back until they've reached a certain enlightenment level of consciousness because now the planet has changed because the planet is ascending and us as spiritual beings are ascending too and you can't go backwards. So... There's quite literally some shifts going on with the celestial bodies in the sky, with the planet, and with humanity. You can look at this two ways. This is how I see it. Holy shit, we're here for all this? Holy shit, we're here for all this. Like, this is really happening, people. Yes, this is really going down in our lifetime. And all they want is your focus and your attention, so don't give it to them right now. This, this is Mars and Antares. This is Mars on steroids. This is Mars. This is your mirror that's going to show you personally, and I've already seen it happen to somebody else tonight. The one thing that when 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 you're going in the flow and we're in these shifts, I don't know if this is happening to you. This is what's happening to me. This it's crazy. You know, it's like they're freaking literally signs in the sky. We're we're on these journeys to find out who the fuck we are. And that's what we're supposed to do. So right now, you know, we've got a lot of this Mars energy that's coming in on us. And then that with Antares. And then there's some other aspects. And of course, everything's hitting Venus. <laughs> Balance. It's with the ancients, right? This was the dance. Balance. This is what the yogi spoke of. This is what the master spoke of. This is what Christ spoke of. Balance. Balance. It's a frequency that your body gets in a state of peace. And trust so in order to get there quite literally the universe is helping us the universe is lining up all these plants that's why you know these aspects I'm saying it again that we're seeing in the sky for 26,000 2,000 I mean th this is this is the evolution revolution we're taking back the planet. So all these energies are lining up to help us. And so, but some, not so much. Because there's a little bit of a battle going on still. So just recognize it, be conscious of it. And realize that when that pops up, that's, that's, that's something you gotta deal with in order to be free. 
You gotta jump. We're not caged angels anymore. We all have Stockholm Syndrome right now. We're, we're, we've been, we've been being controlled. I can see it so clearly, clearly. I can see it on different timelines with me going back and finding these new families and these, and, and now I'm seeing it in other people that aren't even blood related and the synchronicities are just off the chain. And it's like, we're connecting all these little pestle pieces to go back to so far back into humanity and so many of us that are awakening right now are royalty and but not because of not because of money because of the enlightenment in our souls process I mean There are so many reincarnated ascended masters and galactic futurists, ancient, and then there's some of us that are both. And whenever you start discovering that, then it's like, holy crap, you know, what? I'm what? I'm, what happened? Oh my gosh, that did happen, you know? I mean, it's, mind-blowing and then you have a synchronicity and then it all starts make you know it's it can't be you're being guided but those triggers i was driving down the street the other day and i got this phone call from the irs well the irs doesn't call you <laughs> You owe the IRS money. Well, I, I do. When I sell the house, I have to deal with that. But I don't give it any power anymore. Like, I just know it's going to be okay. And it's going to work out. And I just keep going with the flow. You have to do that in every part of your life. Because we're conscious now. See, this, this is where I'm trying to get to. Everything that you call into being is... You, you can't walk around anymore and say, and I'm only going to say it once because sometimes I say these things on these videos and then they start manifesting in my life because I'm warning you guys about it, but I already know, literally. Quantum energy, it is a shift of energy. There has been a change. Dark matter, I mean, what you say and what your thoughts are create your reality, period. We don't even need to get into the science of it, period. So whatever, um, whatever triggers you, or, or if you're feeling bad, if you say, I feel sick, you will feel sick. If you say, my head hurts, your head will start hurting. If you say, oh, um, well, I'm, I'm trying. Don't say, that's, ooh, see, try was always ingra ingrained in me not to say it, but I always said it. But try is horrible because, you know, your soul's going, well, she's trying. Well, she's trying. I mean, with your body, with illness, you can heal yourself. What is spontaneous remission? Spontaneous remission is when someone is so sick that they finally come to a point within their soul that they give up control. And if they can come to that point, then that's spontaneous remission. It's kind of like a shock activation. That's very much how I equate it to my experience as being shock activated, uh, being awoken. And I know now that that's because I, that was my deal with my soul. That if we didn't make the shift, then I wasn't supposed to, then don't even wake me up. So that's why we're here.
Axel, stop. Man, that's my dog. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's a crazy time, isn't it? So don't hang on to anything too hard, right? I mean, be easy on yourself. Be easy on yourself. Give yourself a break. Realize when it happens, whenever you realize that you maybe beat yourself up on something or if something triggers you, if anything triggers you, immediately, immediately think, what is this trying to show me? Tell your consciousness, whenever my emotions are triggered, make my hand itch, or make my foot itch, or whenever my emotions are triggered, make me say to myself, what is it trying to show me? Because all it's only the emotion that you're throwing out there that's coming back at you. That's it. Try it. Whatever emotion you're throwing out, you get back. So when you have an emotion, then why am I having this reaction? Well, I'm having this reaction because why am I having this reaction? This is kind of how this conversation goes, it goes in my head. You know, why am I having this reaction? Well, I don't know. Well, they did blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but what does it matter now? Not much. And why are you reacting to it? Well, that's a good question that that is exactly the thought process that goes on in my head whenever I get triggered now right there just like relived it <laughs> so try it because whatever you say and then remember right now you're creating your own we're creating a new world creating a new world we have to be responsible with that. So what, what, it, I know my world has a galactic perspective, meaning we're from other star systems. We are much older than the human being body that we're in right now. These are like custom tailored flesh suits, computers. And we're all from different star systems and we all reincarnate as different souls in different colors and different female different male you know I mean we all we've been everything in our fractal self so we are not different that was the point of the whole experiment it's why we came here and then they separated us and then they said and then they taught us you know they drew the lines and then, and then there was war and then we had no way to communicate because you know they got rid of all the tel the telepathic beings you know we we were reincarnating more and more and more and more that's why we're older souls because we've been coming and doing this a lot you guys know this so now the gates are literally open Christ consciousness that said would be restored has and and we're all scared to open the door because every time we opened the door before we got zapped so now we're so programmed to not even touch the doorknob that that we're not even going towards it because our, our instinct, everything in us is telling us not to, not to, not to. So then our ego is finding anything to throw up at us right now. And that remnant of that shit, even if you've been doing the work, is what's popping up right now. Because this is like the final straw. This is like, this is, this is like Mars is coming in on a freaking lightning bolt. And like the universe has this degree. And it's going to be powerful. Powerful. 
So watch your reaction. Don't watch the news. Because they're feeding, because no matter if the subconscious, even if the collective, even if, even if everyone in the collective, which we know is not true, is not watching the news and is not hung up on that stuff, right? And, and, and getting all that propaganda and all that programming, the world's going to end and blah, 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 blah. It's bullshit. They know it is, but they're last, I mean, they're trying to convince everybody so that they have enough energy to keep hold. So stop giving it to them. The earth is going to have some type of change. I don't preach doom and gloom, but there has to be some type of breakage for there to be change. We don't like the breakage. We, we just want the change to come up. Can't do it that way. Stuff has to be torn down, just like my life. And I was telling a new friend this today. You, you know, you have to come to a point where none of it means anything. If you're not right with you and standing for who you are and all of your glory and all of your divinity, no matter what. Because when you do do that, then the universe completely takes care of you. Yeah, you, I might not have the hugest house right now, but for everything that happened to me, man, I am like, never been better. But letting go of all that stuff almost killed me. Literally. I was ready to go. I was ready to check out. Everything, everything that was Christy was corporate Christy is what I call her. Everything that was corporate Christy was tied up in what she had bought and what she had achieved, who she, who she had beaten down, you know, who she had climbed above. Everything about me was that. And so when all that was ripped away, because that's what had to happen to me to wake me up, is you know a relationship with mars for 13 years so i'm trained <laughs> that was my training but i'm an aries rising too i have like six plant four planets sun and moon and libra and then i'm an aries rising so i think i lost my train of thought We got this, guys. I know we're tired. I'm exhausted. I'm, we're not. We're full of energy. We're full of energy. We're full of energy. See, I just did it. We're full of energies. We unlock the cells in our body. We renew the cells in our body. We call in all the energy that we have left behind. All the energy that was not used that we spent, we call back into our beings right now. We ask our guides and our higher self, all of our starseed lineage, we ask you to please connect with us and remind us that we are all one and that the light is the light and then the dark is not but the absence of light so as we join together as brothers and sisters of souls families that are finally reuniting and these other dimensions of all space and time we call in our timelines as a team, as a group. We call in for all the listeners if they will, who want to, of their own free will, can join in with these healings. As long as it's of the highest good for the tribe, the highest group for humanity, and the highest group for my, our higher selves. 
we call in the highest dimension of all timelines. Of all space and time in this now. And as the frequency rises and we become more aware and we become the, know that we are one, then the universe just works with you because all you give out is love and all that comes back is love. And it's so beautiful. And the shifts are happening so quickly right now. And we got this, guys. I can feel. I can feel the anguish that's going on with some of you right now. I know y'all aren't even watching this yet, but I feel it. Transmute. Release it and let it go. It's in the past. It's only a lesson. It's only a lesson. Can I get a hoot hoot? Okay guys, I have no idea what all we've been talking about. I really just opened myself up and prayed that whatever you guys needed to hear that you heard. We have a partial solar eclipse on the 15th. So we're building up more energy. So it's gonna get stronger. We are shifting dimensions. We're shifting out of the constructs of space and time. So space and time are gonna keep changing. As much as our minds will allow the creation to become, if that makes sense. So, think world changing, think all of us just being together and offering our gift that we came here with to others with no judgment or lack, that we live in a free energy society, that we take back more on a local level agriculture and our food. That we be better humans. And, but what's on the table right now is how far in the future we can go and that all depends on how many of us cleanse all this karmic timelines and that's why you're crying that's why you're upset because it's not only those triggers that you see in you remember you're also clearing karmic timelines and those of us who have been around a while had a lot to clear I'm still clearing ones that pop up. So remember that too. Because you are your ancients. So forgive yourself and be done with it. Bump up the whole crew, remember? Bump up the whole crew. Can I get a hoot hoot? I know it was an intense one, right? Mars and Taurus. Hey, from Speaker. <laughs> That's what I kept wanting to say. Hey. 
But I think we needed a little bit of tough love, right? Because there's, I've talked to so many that are going through this right now and I can see it so clearly in others. I wish I could see it clearer. Me, me. But I can see it so clearly in others. So just let it go, let it go. You are the eye of the storm. Let it pass, let it pass, let it pass. Observe, observe love and release. Observe love and release. Observe, love, and release. See you soon.